We're ready. Stand by for race one. They're off, and they're racing. And the one who missed the kick was Kate Skate, but the rest broke well. Talamahana on the right here up on the outside is what Katie did in the cheek pieces. Then on the left is Interact. Then behind this in the black cap, Dancing Welcome. Towards the intros, inside in the dark blue cap, Heavenly Pursuit is right there. At the end of the first furlong and a half, and what Katie did leads, and leads by three. Second place, Heavenly Pursuit. In third is Interact. Then behind this, running fourth, we've got Dancing Welcome. Fifth behind this one comes last week's winner, Atha Keel now switch towards the left. In the yellow seas on the far left, that's Fairy Tales. Then behind this, we've got Tana Mahana. The rest are going to have to sprout wings. This leader, what Katie did, has a healthy advantage, and there's only two furlongs to run. In this Hardings catering handicap, Milton Bradley's what Katie did, and Russ Kennemore have a healthy advantage here. Coming down towards the distance, in second place under pressure is Heavenly Pursuit, who sets off in pursuit. On the right, Tana Mahana stays on. On the left, it's Interact. From a long way back, Bold Ring. But He's getting tired out there. What Katie did. Here comes Interact. Here on the far side is Talamahana. Interact this side. Talamahana the far side. And that is close. I think Interact might just have got it from Talamahana. And what Katie did. Interact then grinding out the victory in the closing stages there, just touching off Tala Mahana by around about half a length in the end. A really good performance from Interact. We said before, came here off a good run last time out when finishing third. And interestingly, his only win prior to this was at Brighton. So now two wins here at the course. Yeah, fantastic performance from him. And, uh, of course, Joseph Chute, who was assistant to Mick Shannon for a good few years, um, He's done well setting off. He's, he's only got limited ammunition at the minute, but what, with what he's got, they are running, or they seem to be running particularly he well. he's off the mark, as uh, Jason said. He's been with Mick Shannon as set up. And he's actually started training in September, so he's still a relatively new trainer, Joseph Chute. And he's got a winner on the board, Interact, 7-2 to two joint favourite in the end. Second number three, Tala Mahana at 8-1. to one. And back in third, Interact was number 13. has come home in front there. And the Colours of Heart of the South Racing, well done to them as well. Good operation run by John Penny. They have lots of horses running in the south. Well done to all concerned there with Interact, our first winner of the day. Well, I'm joined by the winning trainer of our first here, Joseph Tweet. First winner as a trainer, congratulations. Thank you very much. You must be absolutely delighted. Absolutely over the moon, yeah. over the moon. It's taken a long while. I thought it happened a bit sooner than this, but uh, no. She was my first runner and I was hoping she'd run well then, but it's taken me about five or six goes to get the trip right. And um, in fairness to Harry who rode her, he said after his last ride, he says, come back and trip and she win. And he got it spot on. And he got it spot on riding wise as well. And you'd have been glad the rain didn't arrive for her, I guess. Yes, yes. It was and tipping down on the way down and I rang my girl, Joe, my head girl. I said, is it raining there? She goes, no, so pretty happy with that. Well, congratulations there, and hopefully there's many more to come from you. You just uh, started out, but you used to be with Mick Shannon. Yes, you spent the last nine years with Mick um, as assistant to Mick there, which were great, great years. Mick's been a great help to me. Still go over and use his gallops sometimes when I want to go and work one or work over with him. He's, he's always been a great help and very supportive of me to go and do my own thing. It's tough out there, he said, but he said, if you don't go, you'll never know. And he's been a great sport, hasn't he? And you've been a great sport to him, of course. I was just hearing that when he had that very uh, sad accident and was out of the way for some while, you were uh, holding the fort there at his stables. Well, <laughs> I was just one of the people. There was a lot of people holding the fort. Um, it was a, there's a great team, and there still is a great team at West Hillsy, and they were all holding the fort. It's just that people always talk because they've seen more of me going racing and that, but it was the team that, that held the fort, really. And I see you've got the full syndicate here, Heart of South Racing. It's nice to see a lot of them have uh, made it down to see your winner here. And um, they had the horse with Mick before, so great that they've supported you. Yes, yeah. Um, John and, and Eloise Penny, they, who run Heart of the South, they had the filly um, with Mick, came to Mick as a yearling. And when I was going to go on my own, um, they were the first people to step up and say they'd support me and send me a horse. And they sent Interact, and she was one of the first into the yard. So it's great that I've managed to... We've paid the compliment that they've had a horse with me and I can win for them, so it's fantastic.